makes you look good, makes you feel good inside. Food is the same thing. I see it as all connected. Okay, so this is uh, the eggnog that's been in my family for as long as I can remember. And um, I'm gonna teach you how to make it today. This is just something that my family usually has uh, during the holidays. And um, it's kind of a Cuban version of eggnog. It's crema de vie. It's sweet, it's uh, licorice, <laughs> it's uh, got rum in it. And it's quite heavy, but so you just have a little bit. What you need is cinnamon sticks, water, uh, sugar, eggs, vanilla, condensed milk, and one more thing, the most important thing, is white rum. You take the water, the sugar, and the cinnamon sticks, and you bring that to a boil. I think me and my brother had never really liked any of the haircuts that we ever got as kids. So our hair was long one day, and I said, listen, maybe, um, I've kind of looked at how the barber does the cuts and he never really gives us what we want. So let's try it, I'll cut your hair. I cut his hair and it was atrocious. It came out terrible and my father had to take him to the hairdressers to have it fixed. My father forbade me to ever cut somebody's hair again. I was talking to my grandmother after that and I said, I think I know what I did wrong. And she said, are you sure? And everything, I said, yeah, she goes, well, you could try it on me. So I tried it on her and it came out better and so that kind of inspired me to keep going to just be good at it. I didn't really, I wasn't thinking I want to be a hairdresser when I grow up. And I'm gonna put some ice in it so it cools quickly. I can't say there's any one person that in particular that has been an inspiration for what I do in hair, but I can say that there are people that have been inspiration to me as far as how I handle my career and doing different things. And those are people like Karl Lagerfeld. Madonna is somebody that has inspired me that way. They love what they do, they're driven, they have a mind that works after hours and um, it works for them and it can work for me too and that's how I juggle everything now too. Let me whip that some more. And add a teaspoon of vanilla and then we put a cup of white rum. Run it through a drainer to get it into the bottle because you have the little white things of the egg yolks and you have little pieces of egg yolk that you don't want in here afterward. And then you put it in the fridge and let it cool for two or three hours and you're ready to go. I don't mind failing at something as long as I take the risk. I would hate to sit down in a chair later on in life and think something could have really come from those few haircuts that I used to do at home. And so I'm glad that I went for it. Any, everything that I go for, even if it doesn't work and if it, I fail, I learn something from it. So I really, you really never fail. Cheers. <laughs>